Today we're going to be unboxing my new TIG welder from my shop. I have an Aesop Rebel AC DC TIG welder. Decided to go with AHP this time. Their Alpha TIG I know is a really good machine. This is their new Alpha TIG 203, 200 amp, and it's AC DC capable. They also have a water cooler made for it. And I've welded with water cooled torches before. They're amazing. I've been needing that. So I decided to go ahead and put this package together. I believe this ran right at $1,100 shipped. Not a bad price for all of it. I am not sponsored, by the way. I paid for this out of my pocket, so no sponsorship dollars here. So let me get to where I can cut everything open. I'll start pulling everything out and showing you what comes with each part. So I've cut off the packing straps. Let's get the boxes cut open and see what's in here. Owner's manual, power cord to the side, cover foam over the main welder, entire box in here which is going to be full of our accessory goodies, we're going to open that in a second, and then here is the main unit. And that's all that comes in that box, so let's take a look at what's in here first. Okay, first off, here is the welder. Pretty well packed in this foam. Let's get this out of here. Set it up here. First off, on the back side, main switch with breakers. There's an accessory plug on here. What's cool about this, <clears throat> I know for a fact, this is what'll power the water cooler. So it'll be tied together, power on with one switch. The gas inlet actually sits out a little bit, easier to get to and tighten down. And that's it there on the front. Digital panel on this one, comes with a protective cover to keep the junk off of it. And I'll power it up here in a bit and just look through some of the options on here. But of course your working and torch ports, control for the foot pedal, and then gas outlet to a torch, which comes with quick connect, which is what I intend to hook up onto the torch that I got for it. And I'll show you that in a minute too. And let's open the box of goodies that came with it. So, <clears throat> now to the box of goodies. Let's see what all is in here. Cordial foot pedal. And I do believe these come with a Nova pedal on them. Good, it's got some grip tape on the bottom to keep from slipping. Slipping. It's a Nova corded foot pedal. Bunch of stuff in here. Okay, some of this I will not be using. Let's see what this is, it's a remote. Connector. I think this is for remote control capability. There might be an extension. I'll take a look and see exactly what this cord is. 120 to 240 plug connect converter. I use 240 in my shop, I don't need it. Here is the connector for the gas for the torch. Here's a stinger. I have no desire to use this as a stick machine. And then my working clamp. I usually beef these up a little bit. They come with a dense connector, but I usually put heavier cable or at least longer cable. I believe this comes with 12 feet. That'll probably be adequate. I may wind up bumping this back up a little bit more. Basic, typical working clamp, which will work fine for this. Now it does come with a torch. Again, I bought a different torch for this. I have every intention of going water cool. This is a standard air cool torch, but it looks like it's a, a click lock head as well as a super flex cable, which that's actually a really nice torch to have. The option for the click lock head. And then here are some consumables for the torch, collets, collet bodies, 
cups, couple of backs. I do believe this is a 17 series torch and everything I got from my water cooler is a 20 series torch. Then in here we have what should be the regulator. Comes with a very nice little um, float type regulator. Not a dial pressure control, but a flow control. Nice regulator. Now what I already have on my machine for TIG is I do have a two-stage regulator, not two-stage, two-port regulator that I use both for um, my primary, but then I have a secondary line I can run off of it for back purge. So that's the main guts that comes with the box. Nothing incredibly fancy, except this pretty nice uh, extra flex cable on the TIG torch. So let me open up the water cooler and let's see what's in there. So I get this guy popped open. If I read their specs on their website correctly, this water cooler will actually work off 120 or 240 volt. So, lots of padding and plastic in here to protect it. Oops, sorry, I think I bumped the camera. There's nothing else in the box besides the cooler itself. Then it comes with two hose clamps with quick connect fittings. I'll look in here in a second. There might be quick connects in here. Let's take a look and see. So as I said, the power cable for this is designed so that it plugs into the back of the machine. It's a computer style three prong for 120 or 240 volt. And then on the front, it actually already has built in quick connects for input and output on the water. So all I need to do is put these on to my lines to lead in for water um, and that should work. But I'm actually gonna put quick connects in. Let me show you why in the next clip. So a couple more things. First off, I wanted to make this a true unboxing. <clears throat> so I had not opened it to read the manual and did not realize this actually came with the finger torch or excuse me, a uh, finger switch for your torch. So that's what this is. In addition to the foot pedal, you can easily connect this to your tick torch and have a finger control uh, for activating it for high frequency, which is gonna be handy for me because on my remote rig, uh, my mobile rig rather, I need to have this. So I'm gonna put this on a different torch, um, but it should be a standard remote fitting. It should work fine. <clears throat> now the other component I have is I did get a CK Worldwide Flex Head Water Cool Torch. I've had CKs before. I really like their torches. Here and the ends that come with it. Obviously, it's not going to fit what I have, so I got to get some adapters. And what I'll get here <clears throat> for um, the water side is I'm going to get um, these are a little bit different sizes. Actually, this is going to be the water. But on the water side, I'm going to wind up getting uh, quick connect adapters to pop onto there. And then on the DENS unit side, I'll wind up getting an adapter DENS, a thread in here, and then a little connector over for the quick connect for gas. And that'll hook up the torch for this setup. I could run it today if I wanted to, I already have the connections that came with it to set it up and run, but I'm gonna wait, go ahead and get all the components I need to hook up the torch I intend to use, um, which is the water cool torch and our water cooled CK torch and have it all up and running. Additionally, and I posted another video, or excuse me, we'll be posting a video. This is my current welding cart set up for my Rebel. And down there's a toolbox. So I need to modify this cart to hold the water cooler. I would like to have these two components stacked onto a cart. So I've got a couple of projects going. I'll be working on both of those and getting that video up as soon as I can. So thanks for watching. I'd love for you to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments about this, uh, please drop it below down in the comment section and have a good day.